Oh, good morning. I didn't see you there. Uh, my name is Bobby Ross. I am uh, here to help you guys with your children's ministry stuff this morning. Um, so what's happening, everyone? I'm so glad you're here. After all, I'm a super fan of every single one of you. It's true. This month, we're talking about how we can treat people with kindness. Kindness is showing others they are valuable by how you treat them. It's important for us to cheer each other on. It's important for us to let other people know that they matter with our words and with our actions. But that brings up an, an interesting question. Exactly how kind do we have to be? Let's go to our story for this week and take a look at something that Jesus said about kindness. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 41. Jesus was rocking the world. Everywhere he traveled, he told about the good news of God's kingdom. He called people to turn away from the wrong things they had done, and he healed sick people. Great crowds began to follow Jesus. So one day, he went up on a mountainside and sat down to share with them how God wants us to live. Blessed are those who are humble. They will be given the earth. God created us. He knows that we were designed to find joy and be at peace when we follow His ways, when we see and treat others the way God does. So, right in the middle of what's often called the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus said this. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile go two miles with them. Okay, what? <laughs> to our ears, this probably sounds like a word problem, or maybe like our PE teacher telling us to go run laps. But the people listening to Jesus knew exactly what he meant. They all lived under the rule of the Caesar in Rome. The Romans had conquered many, many territories. Judea had become a little backwater province of the Roman Empire, and Roman soldiers were sent to keep order. Jesus and all the people he taught lived under Roman rule, and they had to obey the law of Rome, including this one. I decree that any Roman soldier may force a Jew to carry his pack for precisely one mile. If you're thinking, what's the big deal? Think again. Being a Roman soldier was not for wimps. Sometimes the packs they carried weighed as much as 100 pounds. It took real grit and stamina to march for miles carrying that much gear. So it wasn't unusual for a soldier to call on some random person along the road to haul their pack for one mile or about a thousand steps. And if that person says no, well, it was considered an act of rebellion against the empire. Now, imagine you're an everyday, ordinary average Joe or Joseph. You're hiking along the road, maybe you're on your way to Jerusalem. When you look up and in the distance, you see a Roman soldier heading your way. I don't know about you, but I think I'd turn right around and head back the other way. Or get off the road and head into a grove of olive trees. Or maybe just avoid eye contact at all costs. But maybe none of that works. The soldier stops calls you out and you have no choice but to look up. The soldier orders you to take his heavy pack and haul it along for a whole mile. You can't fight the empire. So you pick up the pack and it's forward march. You're probably counting your steps the whole way. 58, 59, just waiting until you can drop that pack. 681, 682, holding out until you can get away from this soldier that sees you as scum. 998, 
999, 1,000. <gasps> That's it. You're free. Roman law says that that soldier can't make you go more than one mile. So you can toss that pack like it's hot and run on home. <laughs> Except, Jesus says something else. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile. Go two miles with them. You had to carry that pack the first mile. You didn't have a choice. But now you get to choose. And if you choose to take that pack another mile, it says a lot. It says, I matter. I'm valuable just like you. And I can make my own choices. But it also says you matter. This is a really heavy load you have to carry. And I'm gonna help you not because I have to, but because I choose to. Go the extra mile doesn't just mean go big or go home. Going the extra mile means that you make a choice to help someone, to be kind. You choose an action that says, I'm doing this for you because I want to, not because I have to. And I'm doing this because you are made in the image of God. And that makes you valuable to him and to me. So, you may not live in an empire, but you can still go the extra mile. And paint the happy little trees on the painting. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. You guys should really see this. Okay, um, oh hey, welcome back. Glad to see you guys again. That was one great story. Going the extra mile means not just doing the least you have to do and showing kindness, like the story said, but instead taking it to the max. It's not just doing what people expect you to do. It's not just doing what you have to do. It's showing extra kindness not because you have to, but because you want to. You're doing it because the person is valuable and they were made in the image of God. A big point here is be kinder than you have to be. If you can take away one thing, that's it. Let's talk to God and ask him to help us live that way every single day. Would you guys pray with me? God, thank you so much for your kindness to us. Please give us, please help us to go the extra mile in the way we treat people. Help us be kinder than we have to be. Give us the strength to follow your example and show extra kindness to the people you've put in our lives. We love you and we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I've got a wonderful painting to finish up, but it has been great talking with you guys, and I hope that you have a great week. See you next time. Bye.